And another aspect of the class which has become closer to my research is a more kind of positive you know, view on regulation and thinking about the role that interest groups, in particular firm, play in the process of, of influencing the shape of our laws and, uh, and our rules. I think it's hard to look at the US right now and not fear that the kind of policies that you know are being adopted are not the policies that are in the best interests of the majority. So clearly, you know, kind of lots of lots of rules and laws look like they're deviating from what we we think would be, you know, an optimal outcome if we were about trying to maximize welfare. We really need to understand the forces, you know, that have played there. The role of lobbying, the role of money in politics, the role of revolving doors. There's a process of influence that seems to be uh, well represented. So um, I think this is one of the most important uh, questions to think about. It's really about the functioning of democracies and how we maintain institutions that make these democracies function. It's a class I teach to the to the MBA students that focuses on regulation from you know kind of a normative perspective. So why do we you know need IP you know IP protection? Why do we have antitrust law? My sense is that a lot of students get into this class with a black or white view of business and government, and I think they probably leave the class with kind of a grayer understanding. And they talk to each other and they argue. This has been, as an educator, the most rewarding class to teach. Uh, again, because I feel like um, it forces students to think more broadly about the role that they're going to have uh, in society and how important the decisions will be.